it, is it on Saturdays that you guys do this? Or? Yeah, sometimes. Well, well what you do? You, you do Saturday nights and just yeah, for fun? Fridays or Saturdays sometimes. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm i just a traveler. I'll, I'll probably sleep in a, a parking lot of Walmart or something tonight, right. but I'm hanging out here. Yeah. Oh, are you, are you law enforcement? No, my son I, is. I see, because you got the flag, that yeah, the blue my... line flag. You got the... The, the strong support yeah. for, is, is he a cop then you said? He's a sheriff up in Phillips County. Phillips? Sheriff Phil, okay. Yeah, I had a little run in with the cops a, a few nights ago. Uh -oh. I was just hanging out near the Walmart, that museum. Okay. I was just there at like 9.30, when, just when it got dark and suddenly the so female Gynes, she oh. comes by and just starts telling me I gotta get out of there. Hmm. I was just parked like this, just hanging yeah. out and you know, when it gets dark, we turn into criminals. Yeah. <laughs> you got to get out of there. It was yeah. ridiculous. She called over her uh, buddy Hess. Kess? Kess? Keller? Kess? Hess? Something like that. So I was just uh, a little angry about that. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I know. You know, you know him by know face? Her. You do? Okay. Um, well, do All right, park bathrooms are unlocked. Unlocked park bathrooms allow me to just hang out here with a little to worry about. All right, I guess I'm turning the canned tomatoes now. I suspect that they might be lower acid because the um, <clears throat> the cayenne pepper seems a little stronger. Like maybe these they choose lower acid tomato stuff but I gotta give it a, more time to evaluate that so I pretty much made a cereal with the big biscuit shredded wheats cayenne pepper tomato puree and milk it's a pizza <sighs> oh yeah I also put peanuts in there not sure what else I would add All right, I have hard boiled six eggs. I think I'm, I'm not gonna eat the yolk. I'm just gonna have just a little bit of yolk. All right, just for taste, throw away, away the rest because uh, I get heart problems when I eat the whole yolk and I get stomach problems if I just eat the egg whites by themselves. There seem to be a lot of good choices around. I think I'm gonna stick where I'm at, but there seem to be a lot of good choices. As long as you stay low key. Or stay um, in away from prying eyes because people are watching. They're bored and watching. This would be a good spot alongside the road, I think. They got all the spots marked coming up on this co-op. But uh, I parked near a apartment complex. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna commit to. I will say I was a little scared of them hard boiled eggs. Right now, and I believe that they are messing with me. It's like land animals mess with my heart so much. I don't feel like I'm top notch. I'm in top-notch shape uh, after eating those eggs. Um, my, my left pectoral started doing the fluttering a little bit more, and that's a sign of a heart, heart struggle in some way. Fish never does that. I, have, I really have to eat a lot more fish, and I focus on catnip, cat, catfish for that. I think I see a mouse or oh, a bird. Fish has uh, really shown to be an uh, important part of my diet, but I've tried so many other options for fish, like the canned fish, canned salmon, canned halibut or whatever. I tried those, then I got sick off of the last canned salmon fillets by Polar. It's too salty and oily. I gave up on canned fish, and so then 
I turned back to, to cooking. It uh, gave up for a while on fish. I've also tried the omega-3 capsules and started getting gut problems, gut pains, gut inflammation. So I had to give that up. And then I, I just went for a long period without fish. So I struggled with heart problems in that time. And then eventually I turned to catfish, but I tried different variations of cooking catfish. And some are better than others. It's fine to boil it. But yeah, there's, I mean, I've tried salmon, and that's just a tough fish to eat. And uh, there's just a lot of fish that are too expensive, too. Catfish is expensive, but it's the most, uh, the more uh, acceptable type of expense, I think, to accept. I really need fish to help prevent my heart issues. Tomato sauce is not enough. I had a whole can of tomato sauce and cayenne pepper and still eat, and eat the six eggs and still feel a slight heart issue. It simply comes down to not having enough omega-3s. And there might be something in those eggs that just make the heart worse, even egg whites. This storm came as a surprise to me. All right, this doesn't feel life threatening, but my heart is uh, pumping at an accelerated pace a little bit, just laying here, so I'm struggling. No doubt those eggs are causing the problem. Six eggs, just a little bit of yolk from each one. It's not good. I just can't be eating any eggs. They're just not treating me good. Seems like land animals in general don't treat my heart good. Alright, I pulled it before I... But before I showed it, but I got this big hairy fungus on one of the bread pieces, and that's unique. This this Ezekiel bread gets some unique fungus. Yeah, it was on here. It was some hairy thing that st stood out like an inch. It's so strange. That's why I have to toast. I mean, I've been holding on to this bread for maybe a little less than a week. And it can get quite moldy quick, quicker, faster than the the regular shelf bread. The frozen this is frozen bread. But I, I absolutely have to toast it. Toast it. Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. And that k kills that, that fungus in case there's any serious problems. Maybe there's some that can't, you can't. You can't heat, you can't toast out, but um, I don't know of any, so I don't want to scare myself. Right, just sitting here thinking, it's cold out. I want to go for a walk, but it's cold. I, I need to put on a sweater, but then I need to find it first. And I was thinking, like, with slavery and stuff, like, barbed wire fence was not invented until the 1870s. And it started rolling out with mass production, maybe the 1880s. Well, slavery was well before that. So how did they fence the slaves in, okay? How did they keep, how do these landowners keep their slaves within the, the territory? I think the slaves had plenty of opportunities to escape, but didn't. I don't think they had a lot holding them in except for a free meal, a free place to stay. Their friends were there. I think that the slaves were, were held by more social constraints and and, and also uh, being provided with, with clothes or what few clothes they were given and work and, and all of that. <clears throat> I just, they, I don't 
I mean, our perspective of slavery is a lot different today because of fence. There was no fence in those days of the early 1800s. There was none. There was no barbed wire. Barbed wire is, is a real hassle to deal with. And there was just none of it. What's the best fence? Fencing that they, I mean, they had jails, but they had wooden jails. Log jails that could be burnt down pretty easy, chipped away at. I mean, escape was a lot easier back in the the old days. I don't, did they have iron, iron um, prisons back then? They may have. There was, there that was a part of the iron age. They probably had some iron cages, but they're they're likely to be limited in the early 1800s. I've seen in my travels plenty of jails made of wood, wooden jails with some iron bars on the windows, but they're kind of rare. Those are the early jails, the es the the escapable ones. Um, it just depended on who they. Who was inside them, and and what uh, they uh, what their mind frame was? Were they willing to accept their jail terms, or were they not willing to? Uh, and I think the mindset back then was people were a little more dependent upon each other, and when you could get a free meal, you take advantage of it, slave or no slave. All right, I don't want to drive to the grocery store just for catfish from my park spot. It's two and a half miles. I don't want to just walk either. Two and a half for a five mile roundabout is too far for walking. Walking without a bicycle in case I want to ride it, which actually at this moment, it's looking pretty good because I got the wind pushing me from behind I think I want to take advantage of it it's a straight shot down this road all the way pretty much I've seen more yellow bellies around this area than anywhere else I think yellow bellies I just I hear them they're so cute and they got such a weird flight pattern, the way they fly. They like to hover like they're helicopters or something weird. Ooh. I don't know the official name of them. I just call them yellow bellies. All right, Acres. Acres is a real popular uh, word to use for trailer courts. They're courts and acres. They're friendly, but they're watching you. All right, they have not filled up the pool yet. It's, end of, it's towards the end of May. It's not warm enough. I'm wearing practically fall gear because of the, the cold, largely from the wind chill. So it can get cold around these parts. They don't even bother with the water park activity yet. All right, got two pounds of catfish fillets. I might try to eat them all at once, I don't know. Heading back. into the wind flat tire what is that chlorine chlorine box there's no pool nearby maybe it's some kind of station the time is at hand the bell tolls for the repent while you can Free 
tree, the tree. A free tree. And they have a stump cutter two houses down. I can't believe I made it the whole way without my chain falling off once. I can't believe I got internet right here. I've been just sitting in my car playing on it. What is SNT free? SNT free. I've walked to the opposite corners of the park and still only see about one or two bars. Sometimes I get full bars on the other side. I think it's on the other side somewhere, but I just can't quite make out if it's on one side or the other yet. I have to do more walking around, but it reaches here. Sometimes it cuts out, but it reaches here. I just sit in my car and play on the Wi-Fi. It's so interesting how uh, some some businesses or organizations provide Wi-Fi. So I'm cooking Chinese catfish again. It's a little stinkier, but the taste is acceptable. Cooking parsnips and potato, one parsnip, and parsnip is strong. One parsnip and potatoes. Potatoes are mild. There, you can eat a lot of potatoes. Parsnips, those you nibble. Stinky, stinky Chinese catfish. It tastes okay. The stink isn't as bad as tilapia. I mean, is it a Chinese influence? Is it because it's frozen? I think it's probably because it comes from China. They probably have different environments. A rat in my bowels surprised me. I did some calf. Oh. I was doing some calf raises while playing on the computer. Calf raises on my calf blocks. And suddenly I gotta go. And I went. And I did not expect that. All right, it didn't show my digging, but I got the trowel out, dug up a dandelion, mainly for the root. It's a big fat dandelion. Took the leaves, mainly for the root. Uh, I don't know if it could be seen in there, but I got a big piece of root I chunked up, tossed in there with the dandelion leaves and also alfalfa top. That's that's almost a complete vitamin short of the kelp, which kelp seems to mess with me anyway, so this is probably my complete vitamin. The second pressing may not be as impressive as the first pressing, but it's still worth doing.